four cadet categories in one race. That's Let's Go Karting at Cumbria for you. Lewis Smith, Summerwood and Jake Grufferty will be in the Micromax class. They'll run together. And that's who we're looking at as they go across the line. Now to start their race, we will look back as they get underway. These are the Cadet 200 trio, Dan Minto, Thomas Potter and Tommy Ambler. And then we'll have the Ayami Cadet pair of Leighton Kelly and Luke Sawyers and the sole Honda Cadet driver, Cameron McNeil. So away they go. And out in front, a big slide from the 17, Lewis Smith, just catching the cart before it ends up in the rough stuff. So a good slide, and he manages to keep it together. But Lewis Smith is out in front, second, the 29, Summerwood, third place, Jake Grufferty. No problem at all. And here comes the remaining six competitors in the race. Minto, Potter and Ambler in Cadet 200. Kelly and Sawyers in the IAMI Cadet class and Cameron McNeil on the 45 in Honda Cadet. So four categories in one race here at Rowra. And it will be very interesting to see which of these battles goes which driver's way. Yeah, we'll do our best to try and keep on top of as many drivers as we can. This battle looks quite interesting. Four of them together, as I say. Yeah, this we've will be got the... We've got that, that many different categories. You've got the <laughs> Micromax going through the line already. And well, here's the battle for the other classes. It's the lead of the Cadet 200, and it's side by side between Minto and Potter. Potter trying to get up the inside, commits to the inside. Minto doesn't give way. They both go off onto the grass and into the barrier goes the 28 of Dan Minto. Not a lot he could do about it. He manages to recover, but that has cost him several positions. And now taking over the lead of this duel, it is the 26 of Leighton Kelly. So he's the leader in the IAMI Cadet class. So he now takes the lead. Let's watch again. Potter tries to get up the inside, just clips the curb. That runs him wide. He's on the grass. Minto's on the grass. One curb, here's a second curb. And boom, Rectisel sponge barriers. But it weighs a lot to be able to turn that round, do a 180 on the Rectisel. That takes some doing. He'll have felt that. Warning flag going out for the 38. That is Thomas Potter, I'm assuming, for not really leaving enough room for Dan Minto. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, they're still running. That's the important thing. So now we've got the 10 of Tommy Ambler closing up on Luke Sawyers as they try and battle away for position. Lewis Smith with the fastest lap of 56 4 1 for him, and we've still got this little duel between Ambler and Sawyers. There is the 27, that's Grufferty. So Jake Grufferty trying to work closer to the leading pair. And as we come back towards McRae's, we can see this duel between Sawyers and Ambler, and it's getting pretty heated. Minto is just trying to catch back up to them after his trip through the uh, barrier. So this is gonna be an interesting one on the back straight. Can't quite stay with them as he runs a bit wide through traction out of Iredales. Here's the leader of this little duel. That is the 26 of Leighton Kelly. Then we've got Thomas Potter. The 11 is next up. That's Luke Sawyers, second in Miami Cadet class. And then he has obviously got a bit of pressure. There goes the move on the inside from the 28 of Dan Minto. So Minto gets through and passes the 10 of, uh, that's gonna to be Tommy Ambler, third in the Cadet 200 category now because Minto has got him for position. And then next up is the 11. That's Luke Sawyers, second in Miami Cadet. Summer Woods, that's the fastest lap in Micromax. You'll only see fastest laps for the fastest carts on track. And Micromax are clearly the fastest carts uh, of all the categories out here. Oh. So Summer Woods sets the fastest lap now, takes it over from Lewis Smith. Bit of a run wide from Luke Sawyers. That was very nearly game set and match from the 28 of Dan Minto. And he almost careers right into the back of Sawyers cart. Just managed to get on the brakes in time before both men went off onto the gravel trap at Iredales. Yep, down through the inside again, so Minto taking no prisoners. I liked his move up in St John's earlier, Jake, as well. Like yes, indeed. A lot. And Tommy Ambler managed to find the gap open to get past Luke Sawyers as well. So Ambler in the Cadet 200 class got Luke Sawyers in the IAMI Cadet. So a nice run there from the 10 of Tommy Ambler. Now he can try and close up on Dan Minto and try and get second place in Cadet 200 back again. So back up to the first corner they will go. And Potter just stretching out his advantage over Minto. Thomas Potter set the fastest lap. He's not in a Micromax. That's quite remarkable, Yes, frankly. indeed. 55-5-3, a very quick lap indeed there from Thomas Potter. Has he missed part of the circuit? Well, I, I, whatever reason, <laughs> maybe, maybe he just doesn't know where the brake pedal is. <laughs> just powering his way through. 
Well, he's the man highlighted in green on the tower on the left, and that tells you he's got the fastest lap at the moment at any given time. So there is Kelly being caught by Potter. Potter is absolutely rapid at the moment, to be fair. He's caught right up to the back of the 26 of Leighton Kelly. This is the battle for, of the Micromax. That's Lewis Smith and Summer Wood. They've been battling all season long. They race up at Wardenlaw. They've raced in the Micromax UK as well, but racing here in the club meeting. There you go, Lewis Smith takes back the fastest lap, so uh, normal service resumed for the Micromax runners. Absolutely. And uh, Lewis Smith with a 55.38, that shows there's still plenty of pace to come from these Micromax carts. We've still got a bit of race to run, don't forget, and as the fuel depletes and as the uh, tyres get up to their best, uh, we will see some faster laps from the likes of Smith, Wood and Grufferty, but Driving with the red mist after his earlier misdemeanor, Thomas Potter, who leads the category in Cadet 200, is trying desperately to catch up with the leaders overall, and in doing so, he's catching the IAMI Cadet leader, that's Leighton Kelly, the 26, as they go through the S's. I have a feeling that he's going to make a move here. Yeah, the interesting thing is, those carts don't look like there's much between them, do they? Honda 200 and the IAMI Cadet? Well, this is the age-old debate that we have in the pub, two, two stroke, four which stroke. category is the best? Is it Miami Cadet or is it Honda Cadet? This is one of those rare moments when we might actually get an answer to that question. Yeah, interesting. Rufferty now sets the fastest lap in Micromax, so all three of the Micromax runners, which is great to see, have had their turn at the front, in not at the front of the race, that's Smith, but each of the three have set the fastest lap at some point during the race, and it's now Grufferty. Yeah, good competition. Third on track in the Micromax race as we have a look at it going through the S's. Summer Wood getting closer to Lewis Smith. Well, if you look at the aggregate points of the heats, nobody dominated in Micromax leading up to this. Lewis Smith had two points accumulated, Summer Wood had four, and Jake Rufferty had nine. So actually, they've all had a turn at running towards the sharp end of the field, these three. So the level of competition between them is fairly even. And you can tell that based on the fact that we're into this period of the race and there's only a second and a half between them. Summer Wood fancies the job, Jake, and so does probably Jake Grufferty now, because he set another fastest lap, yep. look at this. The gap is down to 1.1 Some... between the three yeah. of them. It was bigger than that before, as Wood gets closer again, out of McRae's, up to Iredale's. Summer Wood's fancying this. Dan Minto now sets the fastest lap of the race. He's second in the Cadet 200 class. Look at that. She's closed up right onto the back of him out of Iredales. This is the moment for Wood. Can she make her way on the inside of the 17 of Lewis Smith? Swarming around all over the place. Can Summer Wood get into the lead? Definitely working hard. Meanwhile, further back, this is Two Potter stroke, on four Kelly. Stroke. Here we go. Potter versus Kelly. Honda Cadet 200 versus Miami Cadet. So this is an interesting battle, and it's that age-old debate. Which cadet class is the faster? Well, two guys are trying to battle it out together to answer that question. Leighton Kelly versus Thomas Potter. As the Micromax go through the line, these guys come out of the uh, left-hander at Sunny Bend through Paddock Bend here, the final turn on the circuit. Go across the line, what a cracking battle we've got here. Thomas Potter trying to find a way through on the inside of Leighton Kelly and Min not far away, Minto. Minto, fastest lap take now. Yep, 55-1 and I wouldn't at all be surprised if he's bagged another fast lap, just trying to find a little bit of extra speed and pace to close up on Kelly and Potter. That's his target, that's his goal, because if he can get past Potter, he'll take back the victory in the Cadet 200. Look at Rufferty, Jake, much closer to Summer Wood now. What a great three-way battle we've got. Three Micromax on track, how close do you like your racing? Well, this is what we keep coming back to with karting. You don't need 40 carts on a grid to make a great race. You just need the right carts Absolutely. and the right drivers to make a good battle. And this is one of them. And I would say as well, all these three drivers, I don't know Jake, I know the other two, Summer and Lewis, and they've certainly got the same level of experience. The same experience level gives you racing that's close. And clearly Jake Rufferty, similar experience level to the two in front of him, because he's managed to close up from quite a way behind. Same with these two, although they're on different engines, Jake. But what a great race this is. Yes, indeed. Thomas Potter still hustling Leighton Kelly. Kelly is doing his best not to lose grip. Can I just say as well, these are, these are racing for a different trophy. They don't care. Yeah. They want to come out <laughs> on top in this battle, and so they should as well. Yeah, we can win our class. Now, I'm not interested in winning the class. I, I want, want to beat, beat this him. guy. I want to get him.
I'm so this is I brilliant. want to show him that our engines are better than his. Fantastic. Thomas Potter swarming around all over the back of Leighton Kelly. Intra-class karting. It needs to happen more often. It's great to see in the Let's Go karting round here. Yeah, that's what we get with independent karting. We're going into the last lap on the Micromax. <laughs> Look at Grufferty on the back of them, jumping up and down the seat, trying to get more momentum. Nothing wrong with IKR. It's wonderful. It's pure sport, and that's what we love. Last lap begins then for Kelly and Potter, down in fourth and fifth, being caught rapidly by Dan Minto. Minto can actually catch them before the end. Grafferty looking like he could challenge Summer Wood before the end of this lap. They are on the final tour, as we know, so it's now or never. Look and look at Grafferty <laughs> bouncing around like a pea in a frying pan trying to catch them. Give me more speed, more speed. Come but on, I, I can get her, I can get her, he yes, says. He might come out third of this group, but it's still a great drive by him today. He's actually he was a lot further back than he is here. Absolutely, being less than a second from the race winner is nothing to sneer at, but he's going to try. He's going to push for Summer Wood to see if he can get there will he have a chance off the final turn not quite it's a win for lewis smith it's second for summer wood it's third for jake graffiti it's as they started but that doesn't tell you the whole story it was a good little duel between the three here comes leighton kelly he's just gonna hang on in front of thomas potter across the line that'll do nicely great comeback from dan minto and the fastest lap of the race on the final lap for Dan Minto, how about that? Tommy Ambler will come through for seventh. Luke Sawyer's in eighth place. Cameron McNeil, the sole Honda Cadet, will get there. Thomas Potter did in the end get a five second penalty for gaining an unfair advantage, but it does mean that Dan Minto will take the Cadet 200 victory from him. More race action coming up after the break. It's the juniors, join us then.